I've never thought this game is gonna get update ever. It's only new weapons, nothing really content wise, but literally any reason to come back to Until You Fall, I'm taking it. I've done the playthrough on Quest version, but we're on the PC VR today since Meta couldn't get their shit together with the cloud synchronization. So I essentially lost my save file, but I did one whole run before doing this video. As you see on the weapon rack, I pretty much reached the end. I just lost to the last boss maybe by like 2 HP. So it's fine nonetheless because we are unlocked all the three two-handed weapons. My style is dual wielding and essentially kind of like a pinwheel mechanics. That's like my standard. This pulled me through like the main campaign. There was kind of a heavy weapon before like this. It moves much slower than like daggers and stuff and it was a struggle to fight with it already. Let me just see the skills and the stats to decide what we'll go with. So there's two-handed trade and apparently you can have it in offhand but it's just half the damage and stuff. Makes sense, I guess you can build a big sword and a big hammer though there's no really a point to it. Vicious strike, lose one health to empower your weapon causing instant attack to deal 20 health damage in growing guard. That's very neat. Mist Cutter has Void Trust, which I've seen before and I'm not really a fan of it. And Warhammer has Bulwark and oh, a ton of stats. Since I'm not really comfortable with two-handed weapons, Warhammer this. Summon the weapon with one hand and place your other hand on the weapon's hilt. The attacking is gonna be very interesting because you attack with right hand and then I guess you block with left? In dual building I was basically doing the same thing, like left weapon was just to... Oh wait, I can still have a dagger, okay. I thought I'm gonna be defenseless with skills, so I'm taking this. <laughs> or maybe I'm gonna be summoning this to block and then to attack with a hammer. It's just gonna be so like messy with the combinations, so we'll see. Of course relentless. <laughs> ah, let's see. Oh my lord. It's gonna be easy because I know enemy attack patterns by now. I'm just thinking on the relentless difficulty how it's gonna be performing with just fast strikes. Some dudes have combinations like you can't defend yourself that fast. Yeah, it can be a little bit sluggish, but that's just because of me. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Blocking, supercharge. Oh yeah. This first thing I do always with trades is to upgrade Soulborn. How the attacking with like that works? Oh no. <laughs> I'm doing this. Okay. I wonder how the night will be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I'm gonna be blocking you with my dagger. Uh -uh. Stand your ground. Oh my god. I suck ass with 200. It's a challenge in itself. Oh, I have a bulwark, I forgot. I'm like behaving still, as I would have a sword. <laughs> I'm sure there are like correct techniques for it. Also, I don't like weapons that are slow in blocking. Like, I can't 
react well. I have no HP already. Oh my god. It packs a punch. <laughs> Breaks the guard very easily. I think I'm gonna be using like windows to block like that. To just, yeah, break the health bar. Seems to be a good, good tactic. Work. Always HP if it's possible. What the? <laughs> I wish I would have it on my right hand, but sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I need to figure out how to fastly equip it and just strike. I know all your attack patterns now. <laughs> <laughs> I found out the tactic. Yeah, just find the healed in combat could be a struggle. Hi! Okay, hold on. I don't have time for you. <laughs> I'm already sweating. I don't need adder, honestly, so... Ah, it's already here. I I should have reset, then I would have a boss fight. <laughs> Basically, if you defeat a boss already, it's not gonna spawn. But it's just free adder though. Great job, champion. Not the worst. Actually, I'm gonna take the combo. Normally, I wouldn't. But because I have a hammer, then I can deal more damage. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's fine. Come on. Yeah. The weapon is too slow to block. And that will be with an 200 one. Maybe it's gonna work in lower difficulties, not in the relentless or even nightmare. Okay. 
Okay. Don't fuck around. <laughs> To get out of here. Finding the shield is the <laughs> most awkward thing, but that's just my strategy. There's no way someone would block with two handed. And down. <laughs> This is the, yeah. For dual building, though, I think there's no surprise. Nice. Watch me go to the final boss with this setup. Could be if I really want it, but the video would be 30 minutes. I wish I could really fastly, yeah, equip it. There's gonna be Red Knight, which no way you can block everything with a camera. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and this is only first level of the hammer. Imagine like powered up, the damage would be crazy. I I dropped. Cross them. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Those can be tricky. Oh. What the? Not dead? Unlucky. I 
I think if I will make it, I will stop on the second boss stage, even though there will be no boss stage, but still. Like, you see how two-handed weapon performs. Oh yeah, after the Red Knight will stop. I'm just curious. One at a time. The problem is that when you stagger them, the second one comes... Oh, immediately, I was gonna say. <laughs> My left hand is getting a workout today. <laughs> it's so awkward switching. <laughs> Whatever. Annihilated. Hear this. So do I try to block after his madness? Just to see research. <laughs> Will he transform? Aye, not yet. I managed to block it with two weapons, though. I'm not sure if one can't will save me even. Okay, let's see. <laughs> no, <laughs> no way. Okay. Yes! One hand, bitch! <laughs> and now I guess I'm dying. Just to finish this level. Do I try hard? <laughs> Full work in the right time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jump scared me because... My vision is limited. <laughs> I guess I should switch when they start to stagger, not right when I should hit them. I have a wall behind me. Damn it. 
Oh well. <laughs> oh, I'm sweaty. That's how it always is after each session. <laughs> so is this a fun update? Yes. Am I gonna use those weapons? Hell no, because I have a preferred playstyle already. It is definitely for people who like those kind of weapons. It's just fun to be back. Like Until Fall is one of my favorite, if not my favorite VR game of all time. I just wish we would get any kind of content update. More stages, more bosses. This is like a no-brainer to me. This game has so much potential. Hopefully next time we'll see each other. It's gonna be something more.